after CNN senior political commentator and former GOP congressman Adam Kinzinger claimed Donald Trump smells, more and more people have been sharing their stories about the former president's stench. In a viral TikTok video, user at the Stoff Ajax 04 recounted one instance where the businessman, 77, was allegedly kicked out of a Manhattan steakhouse in the 80s after he got multiple complaints about his smell. Years ago I posted about Trump being kicked out of King's Steakhouse in Manhattan, where I was eating with my father in 1983, because his smell was so offensive, the TikToker alleged. This wasn't an elderly thing, it was 1983. I wouldn't make fun of Trump today if it was an elderly thing. That's not what we do on the left. It happens to elderly people. Trump wasn't elderly, he continued. The social media user then shared more to how the incident unfolded. We didn't complain. The table next to him complained and the table behind him complained. We smelled it, but my father and I didn't complain about it. Trump was not elderly. The smell was so f offensive that they finally had to ask him to leave, and he did leave, quietly, right by us and then wafted us, he claimed. Trump's been s all over himself for almost 30 f years. Others people chimed in, recalling their own experiences with Trump. One person wrote, I did a project for Trump in 2017. Ten tenths can confirm the stink. Also, he never paid our company the 350k invoice for products and services, while another claimed, I heard this in the 90s from my neighbor who worked for him. A third person added, that's so true I smelled in early 90s at an event after party. I really had the thought back then that he just saw himself, sick, so rich he did not give any care of his smell. I think he showers with gas and not caring to wipe his bum was issue. We saw him later in that evening surrounded by people he was pulling girls into hugs and you could see they were pulling away, but he kept forcing them back. So my friends and I left maybe two hours into the event. After many people have come forward with their own run-ins with Trump, the hashtag hashtag Trump smells continues to trend. As OK previously reported, Kinzinger warned others about Trump not having the best cleaning routine. I'm genuinely surprised how people close to Trump haven't talked about the odor, Kinzinger wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, on December 16th. It's truly something to behold. Wear a mask if you can. Kathy Griffin also claimed she experienced the stench while appearing on The Apprentice. Oh God, I was never contestant, she wrote in a tweet on Thursday, May 4th. However, I did participate in two challenges. One I did because of my dear departed, beloved Joan Rivers. The other one I did because Trump paid me a bunch of money to spend the day with Liza Minnelli and host a challenge. Liza and I tried to ignore him, but he does smell really bad.